As a professional book editor, I'll be the first to admit, plotting a book is hard. You might know that you want your character to get from point A to point B, but all the stuff in the middle is a bit confusing and you're not quite sure how exactly they're going to get there. Those parts in between can be the most challenging to write, and because of that, sometimes writers will lean on cliche plot tropes to progress the story along, but ultimately these cliches are actually going to hurt your story more than they're going to help it. So today I want to help you identify some of the most common cliche plot tropes that I would recommend avoiding in your story, and I'm going to offer you some strategies for what you can do instead. Ultimately, leaning on too many cliches can make the reader question your authority as a storyteller, and it can ultimately lead to them disengaging in the novel, which is the last thing that you want. So with these tips, I want to help you craft a story that is more believable, engaging, and immersive. Keep in mind that I'm not saying that these cliche plot devices are entirely off limits. You will see many of them in published books out there today and you may have some of them in your manuscript right now. That doesn't mean that you can't use them, I just want you to proceed with caution and be aware that they are a bit of a cliche in the publishing marketplace and you can potentially think about some alternate strategies if you do want to make your story as original as possible. If you are anywhere along the book writing journey, I recommend subscribing to my channel. Every week I post videos with writing tips like this one or I talk about the book publishing industry and how to see your book on the shelves and I would love to have you around. So let's dive into the first cliche plot trope which is finding a secret diary. Anytime I see a diary appear in a work of fiction I admittedly roll my eyes a little bit. Now I totally understand why authors leverage the diary as a plot device this is a way of one character learning information about another character that the other character would obviously not say aloud. So it is a means of delivering that secret to a character. But far too often, the discovery of the diary just feels really overly convenient. Like someone has just left it on their dresser or they've left it in an unlocked drawer. And especially in the digital age where everyone pretty much keeps a lot of content locked away behind passwords on their computers. The diary just feels a bit outdated and unrealistic. What I recommend doing instead is trying to craft a more creative way for the character to discover that secret that they learn from the diary. So for instance, say that Jill stumbles upon Jack's diary where he admits that he is in love with Lucy and that's how she finds out that Jack is in love with Lucy. Instead of finding the diary where he confesses this, perhaps Jill could come across a romantic gift that Jack is planning to give to Lucy and that's how she discovers that he is in love with her. That just feels a little bit more believable. It doesn't lean on the diary trope and it's a little bit more original. The second cliche plot trope is an unexpected pregnancy. Now, it's completely true that unexpected pregnancies happen in real life, but in fiction, I worry that unexpected pregnancies too often feel like a cheap trick to amplify the emotional stakes of the story. Too often, these unexpected pregnancies come out of abusive situations, mostly female characters being sexually assaulted, and it's almost so predictable to the point that if the reader sees the scene of this assault, they might come to already expect that that is going to result in a pregnancy later on. Something that is a bit frustrating with the unexpected pregnancy trope is that in most cases, the characters don't seem to expect it at all. They don't even consider it a possibility. And so the reader almost is anticipating the pregnancy, but the characters seem not concerned about it or it's not even on their radar. So if you have an unexpected pregnancy in your story, I would recommend just being really, really cautious and making sure that it is actually integral to the story. Make sure that you aren't just using this unexpected pregnancy to incapacitate your female character or inflict unnecessary trauma upon them. If you determine that the pregnancy is necessary to the progression of the plot, then consider making it so that the characters are concerned about the possibility of pregnancy 
at the point at which the reader will also be concerned about that pregnancy possibility. That way, the characters won't be completely blindsided when it is revealed that they are pregnant and the reader won't feel like it is so much of a cheap trick. The next cliche plot device to avoid is police revealing sensitive information about a case. Now this comes up all the time in suspense, mystery, and thrillers, but it could come up in any other genre where there is a police or detective character. What happens with this is a police officer or a detective will reveal information that realistically would be kept very confidential in the real world. They might give details about a crime scene or details about a piece of evidence that was found or what evidence wasn't found, or they might talk about who they're considering a suspect and who they aren't. All of these things in real life would be kept under wraps by the police or the detective. And in fiction, sometimes the police character will say something like, I really shouldn't tell you this, but, and then they will divulge that information. While again, this might happen in real life, certainly this has happened in real life, it feels like the writer is just using this as a convenient way for the character to get more information about the case that they otherwise would not have gotten. So I would say, unless you are making a specific point to portray this police officer or detective as a corrupt individual who, you know, is not doing their job properly, I would err on the side of having them keep the information close to their chests and not freely reveal sensitive information about a case. Especially if the character who is trying to get this information could potentially be a suspect themselves in the police officer's eye, which I think in many cases they should be. So first I would consider if there are any other ways that the character could come across the information that they are getting from the police officer or the detective. And if there truly is no other way for them to get that information, then I would make it so that the police officer or detective is clearly deliberately and strategically revealing this information so that they get something out of the person they are talking to. For instance, they might divulge this sensitive information about the case because they think that it is going to propel the character to give them information that they want as a witness or as someone who knows one of the suspects potentially. Make it more of a give and take rather than the police officer or detective just going, oh, well, let me just tell you this for fun. The next cliche plot trope to avoid is an unexpected twin. Sometimes this happens if we see a character do something that just doesn't really suit what we know about them. Like perhaps this is a really buttoned up character and then someone sees them steal something, for instance, and the reader wonders why they would do that. Then it's revealed later on that, oh, that wasn't actually them. That was their identical twin who no one knew anything about. This cliche is just quite unbelievable because number one, it's just unlikely that that character would have a identical twin. By nature, twins are statistically not the majority of people. And two, it seems very improbable that no one in the sphere of the community of this character would know that they have a twin themselves included. I'm not saying you can't write characters that are twins. I would just be very, very careful with how you use them and make sure that you're not leaning on them just as a convenient plot device. So if you have a character who's a twin, I would think twice about making it this big reveal that they have this other twin. Because to the reader, it can feel like it just came out of nowhere and was kind of slapped on the story, rather than something that was organically woven into the story from the very beginning. If you establish from the very beginning that this character has an identical twin and they get mixed up with one another and you know they have these different character traits, that's great and that can actually make for a really rich characterization. But if you just slap the twin element on, you know, midway through the plot or at the end of the plot, whenever it's convenient for that reveal, it is going to feel a bit haphazard. And unfortunately, using the reveal of the twin has just been a bit overused already in popular media. Think about the movie The Parent Trap. So you don't want your story to feel like it is derivative in that way. So if you want to make twins a part of your story, just be really thoughtful with how you portray them and consider introducing them from the very beginning. The last cliche plot trope to avoid is convenient amnesia. This happens if authors want to make the circumstances surrounding a certain period of time mysterious or they want to shield a character from knowing what happened at a specific time. This could be a character having literal amnesia from a head trauma 
or it could be the character having abused drugs or alcohol and then blacking out and not remembering a certain period of time. Well, again, amnesia and blackouts certainly happen in real life. In fiction, they can feel just a bit overused because they are often deployed as a convenient way of making the character forget something consequential. The reason that the author is using this device is so that we don't have to face the immediate consequences of whatever happened in the period in question. So you are keeping the reader in suspense of what happened and the character in suspense of what happened because dealing with whatever the truth is would require the plot to unravel in a different way. So instead of knowing everything immediately, we must wait to figure out what actually happened and it's a means of information delay. So another way to think about this situation in your story is instead of having the tension come from the character's lapsed memory, you could have their memory stay intact but then have another character come in providing an alternate version of events and therefore the character starts to question their own reality and wondering if their memory is actually serving them or if they misremembered events of that period. That way, the reader will still be kept in suspense because we won't know the truth. We will have different stories coming in from different characters and we will still be eager to know who is actually telling the truth. I hope these tips help you avoid some of the cliche plot tropes in fiction and craft a more original, fresher story that engages your readers. Let me know in the comments if you have ever used one of these cliche plot tropes, and if you have, it is totally okay. As I said, in certain circumstances, they can be used effectively. Also, let me know if you have seen any additional cliche plot tropes that I should keep on my radar. If you're looking for some more tips on how to strengthen your plotting and avoid any cliches, check out my video on overdone plot twists. Similar to this one, I go through some plot twists that have just been a bit overused in fiction and how you can create something a bit more original. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps me know I'm bringing you content that you like and find interesting and helps me grow this community. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.